Welcome back everyone. Uh, in this video I will go over forming uh, equations of uh, linear graphs. Uh, here's a quick uh, recap on types of gradients. Uh, please watch my previous video uh, on uh, this. There's four types of uh, slopes uh, by the way. So positive slope um, is going uphill, uh, negative slope of course going downhill, uh, horizontal line will have a gradient of zero and a vertical line for example cliff uh, will have a gradient that's undefined in mathematics uh, to find the slope uh, it's really important um, i've already covered this in the previous video as well so please do watch that uh, so uh, you have to rise before you can run so the uh, slope formula is rise over run um, and uh, it's also the uh, same as change in y over change in x this um, video will focus uh, mainly on uh, uh, the graph given and uh, what's the procedure for forming uh, equations for those graphs. So a linear function is given by y is equal to mx plus c and uh, I'm sure you have uh, already seen this in my previous video. So this form is uh, slope intercept. Uh, we only need two pieces of information. So the first one is uh, the value of the slope and the second one is the y-intercept so we'll quickly have a look at the first example and uh, we'll see how we can use uh, this write an equation of a straight line um, that has a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of 5 so in this case we are already given the um, both the information that we are after so what we will do next is uh, we will use the general form for the um, uh, equation of a straight line which is y equals to mx plus c and uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll try and uh, substitute the values that are already given but please make sure the coefficient of uh, x is the slope value which is m and uh, the y-intercept is uh, the c value so we have it uh, we just uh, replace those values there so m is uh, 2 and uh, the c value which was the y-intercept is 5 so this is the uh, final equation of the straight line so which is y is equal to 2x plus 5 pretty straightforward as you can see uh, let's quickly have a look at the second example and i would suggest if you can uh, pause the video and uh, try this one quickly yourself and see if your answer matches with the one given in this video so example two it says give uh, the equation of a straight uh, line that has y intercept of 3 and a slope of negative 4 Right, so in this case we are already given uh, the two information that we uh, need but uh, please do uh, uh, make a note uh, it's you know, you're given y intercept is three and slope is negative four so make sure you do not switch these around so they are uh, slope is m value so it's not three but slope is negative 4 so this is where you can go uh, easily go wrong and the y-intercept is uh, 3 so uh, and then uh, we just use the uh, general form mx plus c and then substitute the uh, values in the right spots and then uh, we get the final answer y is equal to negative 4x plus 3 hopefully you guys have got the same uh, um, result the only issue uh, some of you may have heard was you would have swapped uh, negative 4 and 3 but please uh, read the questions carefully slope is coefficient of x so it needs to be in front of uh, x and in this case slope was negative 4 so it's negative 4x plus 3 so in this example, uh, we already given a graph, a uh, straight line graph. So the question says, um, give the equation of uh, the uh, linear graph that's uh, given below. So for this, uh, we still need um, uh, two information. The first one is the slope and uh, the second one is the y-intercept. So let's find the slope first. Uh, slope is given by rise over run, as uh, mentioned earlier. And in this case, the slope, um, the rise value is 3 and the run value is uh, 6 as you can see uh, this simplifies to half and half is uh, uh, 0 0.5 as a decimal you don't need to change this to a decimal but um, it's pretty easy to uh, use 0 0.5 in this case uh, then uh, we need to uh, 
describes the y-intercept value. So y-intercept uh, means the uh, place where the um, uh, line crosses the uh, y-axis. So it crosses the y-axis at uh, uh, y value of negative 1. So uh, the y-intercept then is negative 1 in this case. Uh, so we'll uh, put these two uh, pieces of information together. So uh, uh, hence the uh, equation of this uh, line is y is equal to uh, 0 0.5 which is the gradient value calculated earlier as you can see here uh, x take away 1 and uh, this one is the uh, y intercept value hope this makes sense uh, it's pretty straightforward but you need to uh, know the um, uh, method for finding the slope first and then identify the y-intercept and then put those two uh, pieces of information together. Make sure the gradient value goes in the right spot and the uh, y-intercept as well. It says plus c here, y written minus 1 because plus minus overall becomes minus, so it's negative 1. Let's look at the other example. So pause the video and try this one uh, yourself first. So you still have to give the equation of the uh, line that's given. So we need the uh, slope value first. So slope is given by rise over run, as you can see. So rise is 4, and then it's across 2. So it simplifies to 2. And the y-intercept value is uh, negative 2, as you can see. You can trace this uh, from the graph. And then uh, we'll uh, put this uh, information together. So y equals mx plus c. And uh, the m value is 2, and the c value is negative 2. So the equation is y equals 2x uh, take away 2. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.